The Smash roster is one of my favourite parts in the entire Smash series, with the inclusions of new fighters every instalment. Some fighters don't make it in. Welcome to a new foe has appeared, where we are going to brainstorm ideas for fighters that could possibly happen in the future. Let's get into it. Up next. What? Castle View from Undertale? That's right. We are talking about a character from Undertale. I, I knew I couldn't do a series about talking about fighters by giving, without giving an indie rep a go in Smash. With Undertale being one of the most successful indie games of all time, I thought I had to talk about a character from Undertale. I can tell you now, it's not the main character, Frisk. Sans is the character we're going to talk about in, in this Halloween special. So, if you didn't know, for people that have been living under a rock, last episode, where we were talking about Knuckles, I said at the end of the episode, that one of these two would be in this video. So, Sans won the vote, so, here we are talking about Sans. So, Let's get into his moveset, shall we? So, Gaster Blaster, a chargeable attack. While Sans stands there with his hands in his pockets, a Gaster Blaster appears in front of him. By holding the B button, you can charge the attack and arm, and where it will blast, this powerful blaster reaches across the entire screen and can deal great damage depending on how long you charge it. You can charge it up to six seconds for the maximum charge. Each second makes the beam from Gaster Blaster larger and more powerful. His side special is Bone Launch. Sans raises his hand and re and a row of bones come stabbing upward from the ground. The bones travel forward as they come up and travel about as far as Samus's charged shot. These bones deal upward knockback and deal more damage on the ground. You can jump over the bones obviously to avoid them however Sans possibly didn't think of that Bone Leap is his up smash Sans soul turned blue inside of him as the platform appears above him about as far away as the peak of Bowser's recovery. His soul pushes him upward and he lands on the platform. Two small bones come flying right by the platform. These bones don't harm Sans and the platform can be used by anyone but they do deal 8% damage to enemies. And Meteor Smash Effect, also the platform, says in effect for about 2 seconds before disappearing, giving Sans an extra place to jump from. His down special being Bone Trap, Sans lifts up his left hand and a small square box appears in front of him if an opponent 
is caught inside his this box. Sans catches them and unleashes his mercy while stuck in the box. Sans summons tons of boxes inside to quickly do in the box deals 30% damage and can send the opponent flying much like Jigglypuff's down smash however it can really difficult to pull off at and if you miss Sans, will stand there helpless for a few seconds. And his final smash being genocide, Sans' left eye glows blue and he be bellows a laugh as everyone is transported to the box right from Undertale. All the characters are turned into hearts with their faces in the middle of them. And they are given a second to move around and get used to the new forms before Sans is seen saying die. Suddenly the opponents are all put through a bullet hell, as Undertale calls it, and are bombarded from tons of circling Gaster Blaster Blasts. This attack is devastating, dealing strong damage ranging from 8% to 96% of damage depending on how long you stay within the Gaster Blaster shots and dealing more knockback once the attack is finished for the more damage you take from the attack through this attack is devastating there is a pattern that the blasts go in a counterclockwise motion and if you are quick you can avoid the blasts however the more opponents in play the harder it is to avoid the blasts due to the hearts bumping into each other the attack lasts for about 8 seconds and for the assist trophy is Papyrus Papyrus an assist trophy from Undertale once Papyrus is summoned a speech bubble fills the bottom of the screen just like Rosetti and he says stand back humans and monsters I the great Papyrus I'm about to unleash my special attack. He then waits a few seconds randomly, determined after he's summoned. This time can be anywhere from 1 to 10 seconds before he attacks, in which time he will say, wait for it. Once he decides to attack, he sends out long bone attacks from him straight forward in both directions. He will send out five bones each side, all of which are blue colored bones. If you stand completely still, the bones will phase through you and deal no damage. If you move, they deal 10% damage per bone. So try not to move after the attack is finished. Papyrus says, Nee! 
What are you doing standing around, lazy brother? I need to capture the humans. For a spirit board? Ignore sand. Ignore sand. This is what it would look like if Frisk joined the battle. So we have Flowey, Toriel, Papyrus, Undyne, Alphys, Metaton, Asgore, and there must be some other spirit behind it. But I don't know who that is. So for me costumes, we get Undyne, Papyrus, Frisk, the Hat Kid, and for the premium costume, Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. I was considering a costume from Fall Guys, but Fall Guys is not on Switch, so I guess we should just leave the whole Fall Guysness in Smash for now. For the classic mode, his classic mode route should feature foes based on bosses in Undertale. Toriel would be the giant Palatina or giant Peach. Papyrus would be Luigi. Undyne would be Lucina. Metaton would be Rob. But after you KO him, Joker appears. Muffet would be Bayonetta. And then the final boss would either be designed boss fight against King Asgore or Asgore represented a giant K rule or maybe Dracula because of the king status and the cape chased with a boss fight against the giant piranha plant for Flowey and his music tracks were a difficult one too because we're going to be here all day if I read this. And his stage would end up being Judgment Hall. This stage is where you see a silhouette of Sans before going into Sans boss fight. So guys, what did you think of, of my idea for Sans and Smash? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notifications on. Finally, don't forget to leave a comment when you've subscribed. And this episode's Who Will Prevail are these guys. So, who will prevail? Will it be A or B? Ignore the coming Friday bit. Well, today is Friday. That must have just been a mistake. So, the next episode of A New Foe Has Appeared should be out on Tuesday and this is officially my last video of spooky month so stay tuned for next year's spooky month BB-8 out